Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I have to say, the social distance thing that's happening now where people are keeping their distance away from other people and away from me, I am really enjoying it. I don't like to be in large groups of people. I don't go to the mall. I don't like waiting in line with people around me and I go to pay for something. You know, I just don't fit in to that group. So in regard to social distancing, I'm liking that. But this video has to do is what is going on with the guns and ammo frenzy. Typically when things like this happen, it's when some anti-gun politician gets in there and then there's this, this panic that takes place, you know, along the campaign. They say, when I get in there, I'm gonna keep the American people safe. I'm gonna ban these types of guns, the scary ones. I'm gonna ban the ammo and all this. And people say, you know, you need to get your guns. You need to get your ammo. Get it while you can. Get it while you can. And you hear that, and that creates a, a panic, it creates a frenzy. People rush out, they, they hoard, then they sell, they try to make money. And that happens, and we've experienced that. Other times it's when some shooting takes place, and the uh, politicians say, well, since this happened over here and they use this gun, now we have to ban that. And we hear people, you know, why can't we be like Australia? Why can't we be like New Zealand? Well, we have a constitutional right to keep and bear arms, that's why enough said but what's going on today you know we, we are seeing this unstable society where people are fighting over toilet paper we see grocery markets that are selling out we see people social distancing keeping away from each other you know and the people wearing the masks and, and doing what they feel they need to do there's an economic instability that creates a uncertainty for the future and People are starting to think, well, if there's all this uncertainty, of course, crime may rise and I need a means to protect myself. Now, a lot of times we hear, well, what do you need that for? You know, don't you realize that a gun in the house creates more danger amongst your own family members? Don't you know this? Don't you know that? And yet, who is out buying guns and ammo to a large degree? Anti-gun liberals are. You know, not entirely, but a large degree, you have these people that don't have any guns, don't have any ammo, they're, they're scared, they're not sure what the future holds, and so they are out there, and they're buying guns and ammo, and I don't think that's a bad thing. They certainly have a constitutional right to do that. However, what I find absolutely hilarious is that many of these people are buying these guns online, and they are expecting them to be shipped right to their house, of course. That's what they've been told. You know, there's the online loophole. Hey, just ship it to your house. Or there's the gun show loophole. Hey, just go cash and carry, just like that. And they're realizing that the gun show loophole and the online loophole does not exist. So they're upset about that. They don't like that because they have to go to an FFL and get a background check. You know, these are the people that have always said, you know, we need to get background checks, universal background checks. Everybody who gets a gun needs a background check. Now they have to get a background check and they have to pay an additional fee to receive that gun and they have to do paperwork and they have to do all this stuff and it is, goes against everything that they've been taught and everything that they've understood and everything that they preach to us, which is wrong about gun ownership. I mean, I've been preached to people who've never bought a gun. They say, well, don't you know that it's like this? And they have no idea what they're talking about. They've been lied to by their very own politicians who are anti-gun. So we have these anti-gun liberals who are out there getting guns and it finally clicked in and I'm hoping that they vote accordingly, but it's finally kicked in that maybe it is true that they need a means to protect themselves amidst this instability, this economic collapse, when they're fighting over toilet paper and they're fighting over hand sanitizer and rubbing alcohol and everything else, what is the future going to look like? You know, I live in Michigan. We have a shelter in place that just, just took place today. I'm watching the news and they're saying, this is where you're allowed to go. This is where you're not allowed to go. This is when you can go there. This is when you have to stay home. You know, as if we're third graders and we have to be told how we have to live our lives. And it scares people. They, they don't know what exactly is going to happen. You know, are we all, am I going to get the coronavirus? Am I having the corona? Do I have the coronavirus right now? And I get that. But when we see people running out and getting guns and ammo, you know, you kind of want to remind them, hey, I thought all you have to do is call the police. 
I thought that's all you have to do, right? To call 911 and they'll take care of all your problems. We see all these liberal writers who are out there saying, you know, don't you, you know, you, sh you don't need this. You really don't need this because, you know, you, you can shoot a family member. You know, people, you know, once in uh, New Jersey shot uh, their own kid by cleaning their gun. You know, and you hear all this stuff and it gets regurgitated over and over and over again ad nauseum. And then they put two and two together and say, maybe this is what I need at a time like this. So I, I think it's good. I would encourage anybody doing that to, to learn about the gun. Learn when you can and cannot use it. You know, don't get your gun and, and run around your house like you're John Wayne and pretending that you're the next Rambo. You are not. You need to understand how it works, what it's capable of, take it to a range, if you can get into a range, and learn about it and, and learn from other people who know. And also understand that many, many of the people do not know, all right? Part of being smart is knowing what you're dumb at. And so you go out and you get that information and then we in fact welcome you into the gun world and you'll also understand how addictive it is. So as we watch these people run around and get their guns and get their ammo and, and the rest of us are, you know, feeling pretty good about the situation that we've obtained throughout all these years, we could just sit back with a bag of popcorn and watch the show take place. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.